Now that you have already seen how to use the Windows Explorer window and you've seen the way the, the files and folders are organized, let's see how to create a folder structure for your files. Well, if you have only 10 files, it's really easy to find them. But if you have a thousand files, you better start organizing your stuff. It's like too many toys in your toy box. If you look on the right hand side, you'll see that I have set up a similar folder structure for a class. Let's pretend it's COMG 153 and I have a folder for each of the main topics and then within my folders I can even have folders so I can keep everything organized. That's the purpose of a folder, to organize similar files. And you can have folders within your folders. You don't want to know how many levels of folders I have. <laughs> And it's important when you name your folders, and even your files, that you have descriptive names for them. Let's see how to do it. Here's my Windows Explorer window, and on the left-hand side, you can see the navigation pane. I happen to have two physical hard drives here, a C drive and a D drive, so I'm going to use the D drive to create a folder structure. Once I have clicked on the D drive, just once on the left, then I can go up to the menu bar at the top and click on New Folder. When I click the New Folder button, at the bottom it will give me a picture of a yellow file folder and I can name it whatever I want, like COMG 153 class, for example, and press the Enter key. Right now it's at the bottom of the list, but pretty soon it will hop up to the top of the list, up in the folder section. When I double, if I single click on it, I have to be careful. If you double click on the picture, then you can see up on the navigation, on the address bar, that I am in my D drive in my 153 folder, and if I want, I can create a new folder there. And this might be for, let's say, Word. If I want to insert a folder within that folder, I can double click on it, create a new folder, and now I can have Word Project 1 in that folder. And if you look again up on the address bar, you can always tell where you are according to the little arrows that point you through your computer. So we've created a folder structure, and in the next video, we'll work on getting some files into the folder.